Okay guys, Laura here. I'm going to do a styling of a wig. I know there's so many out there, but I had a couple ladies, several ladies requesting it. So that's what I'm going to do. This is a stacked hair piece. I forgot her name. Uh, she is a size small, absolutely gorgeous, very soft. I did a deep conditioner on her. And then I'm going to use this. Actually, I already sprayed some of this on there. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. So that's my heat protectant. And then I'm going to use, this is my finishing spray. Okay, so I already did put some heat protectant in it. You always wanna do that. I'm using this professional curling iron that I got from Kirsten. And uh, how I do it is, I, will, I don't know the best way to do it on the film for you, but here we go. I've never done it in this position before. <laughs> so I didn't practice, I'm just going now. All right, so I have her up to about 350, and because she is hotter than 320, I'm gonna go real quickly, and I just want real subtle waves in her. So the smaller pieces you take, the better. And I just, oops, I just put it on, and I just wait for it to get warm in that area, and then I move down. And then it's just like that, just smaller pieces. And uh, I might, re might curl this one more, one more time. Again, I haven't done it in this angle before, but I wanted to. And I always curl it away from my face. So you start up it, towards the root, and then you twist it and slowly work it down. And then you just let it cool down. That's it. And then you can, if you don't actually brush it out, it'll be more of a beach wave. I mean, it'll be less of a beach wave. It'll be, it'll be more, it'll hold the curl a bit more. But if you decide to brush it out, then um, I didn't get it all the way down because I'm not good at this angle. Um, if you brush it out, it will be more of a beach wave. And you can alternate which ways you're going back and forth, back and forth on it. I don't like my hair real curly. I like it just kind of like, I like the beach wave. So there's a lot of people that I really love the way that they style their hair. And I've watched their videos and then I just kind of adapted my own. And so you don't want to brush it until it's totally cool. cool. And, uh, and that's it. You just start high and you work your way down. And when you get back towards the back, you can switch which way you do the direction if you want. I typically, you know, it just depends on how I do it. I'm not, it's not like rocket science because I want it to look natural. I don't want it to look like too styled and curled. I just want it to be kind of the natural beachy wave. So that's how I do it. That's it. Oops, wrong way. Although back here, it really doesn't matter. You can do it either way because it's in the back. So a lot of people like to alternate. And again, I don't get that particular about it because I like my waves a little bit like a beach wave. So that's it. And you just go all the way around. You pick different sections. The smaller sections, the better because you're not gonna get a good curl if you do too big of a section at once. So I'll do this one the other direction and show you it works just fine once you get a little bit towards the back. Pull it out. That's it. And then um, I'm going to list this one for sale because uh, I just have too many wigs and I have some projects I have going on right now that I need funding for. So I am going to be selling quite a few of my wigs. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. Her lace is cut. I have not worn her out of the house because I have a lot of wigs and I was planning on maybe coloring her and I just have not gotten to it because I've work, been working on coloring other pieces right now. So, learning how to color hair and cut hair. It's pretty fun stuff. So that's it. I will show you when I'm done curling her. I'm gonna put that spray on her and she'll be really nice in a beachy wave and, and that's it. 
All right, let me know if you need any other tips and I will make a video of them. It's just a smoothing spray. These curls are still warm, so I'm not gonna brush it out yet, but I just put, I mean, less product, the more. You do not want a lot of product on your hair because then it builds up and you're gonna have to wash it sooner. So always think less is more, except definitely co cover everything you're curling with the heat protectant. Super important, especially blondes. You don't want it to dry out. All right, guys, remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell no notification, and uh, share my videos, all that good stuff. All right, bye.